Right, Colin Coward back in the news. Uh, anytime he rips Cleveland, Cleveland fans <laughs> respond to that. What day it's, is it? <laughs> it's a love-hate relationship. All right, so here's what Colin said about Odell Beckham. I've said from the beginning that I don't think Odell Beckham Jr. fits in Cleveland. If you go back and look at Baker Mayfield's targets of Odell Beckham last year, Baker was uh, awful. He felt like he had to force the ball to him. He completed only 55% of his throws when targeting Odell last in the NFL. This is not working for Baker, and it doesn't work for Odell. He's not a player that we should bail on, but he's a player that Cleveland should move away from. Cleveland doesn't need another star receiver, and Odell needs structure. And when, do, when I say structure, you think of the Cleveland Browns, right? No, I don't, think, I don't believe that's correct. For, for once in my life, I agree with virtually everything that came out of Colin Coward's mouth relating to a Cleveland Browns or a Cleveland sports subject. However... The Browns are not going to move on from Beckham in 2020 because the new regime has come in and said, we do things differently. This isn't Freddie Kitchens and John Dorsey. Uh, for example, Stefanski and Van Pelt will figure out ways to get Odell the ball without forcing it. So they're going to say they want their crack at Odell for a season before they move on. Yeah, but there's some circumstances involved, and that is the, the injury and the surgery that he had. Yes, there is. Uh, and, you know, a, a potential suitor in a trade would be like, how much do we really want to give you if we don't know yeah. exactly what he's going to be like? Right. You also have to uh, worry about Jarvis Landry as well. Sure. Because Landry's got the hip uh, surgery. Beckham had the core surgery. You do this, and you go, all right, which one was worse? Which one's going to keep them out longer? They they have the medicals, but if you were to move on from Beckham and Landry wasn't right, then you're 0 for 2. Then then what? Well, then what is you have potentially so, the best running game, running game in the business. Well, it's, that's true. That's true, but what do you do at receiver? If, if Beckham is, has been sent out and presumably you don't get a receiver in return – and then Landry, his injury stalls him, then you've got an issue. So at the very least, Beckham could be a hedge. Yeah, but you're not going to know about Beckham until he actually puts the gear on and plays. That's a great point, and that's the sticky wicket for Stefanski and the install. Is they, I'm sure they want to, you know, they want to maximize Beckham's talents, but they also have, they're going to butt up against this Beckham timetable just as Kitchens did. <coughs> right, exactly. I